guys, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I've been pretty quiet of late, and you probably would have seen if you follow our Instagram, different things we do, a few boards we've posted over, you know, some of these I've had probably nine months or something, and I haven't been surfing a lot due to a knee injury and a few other little things, but we're gonna be ramping up reviews, hopefully a, week, a review every week or two over the coming weeks. Um, and I just wanted to go through a few of the boards that we're checking out over the coming weeks, months, um, cause I know a few of you have been hitting me up People have been wanting to make board purchase decisions, been waiting for reviews, had questions and stuff. So I just thought I'd kind of touch on a few of the boards here, maybe all of them, um, just what's coming up, not in great detail. If you've got any questions, you can comment below uh, on YouTube. Also, you know, our Instagram at the surfboard guy, but I just thought I'd kind of go through them because I know people have been frothing on a couple. And I'm gonna start with, this is an album Plasmic. So this is a 5.5 and I think it's around 33 liters. Uh, when I spoke to album in Australia, um, Nath and Matt Parker, I think this one's stretched out a little longer than the normal plasmic. Um, they had a plasmic in the electric acid surfboard test for Coco Ho and Mason Ho last year, a year before, and supposedly they stretch them out a tiny bit longer, and I think that's what this one is. So 5.5, 33 litres. Um, this will probably be one of the first reviews you see. You might see this if you're seeing this video on YouTube, and hopefully you're not seeing a um, some sort of comedy reel because all these balls of boards have fallen over. But if you're seeing this, you'll probably see this review about a week later. We've got most of the clips we want for the review. Uh, the main delay in getting reviews out is actually filming surfing. I don't know if anyone's filmed any surfing. When you're a pretty average surf and you're trying to get like a dozen or so waves together uh, that people want to watch, it's pretty hard. And aligning schedules, you know, personal work, film and stuff like that can be pretty tough. But anyway, this is a Plasmic by Album. I've had it since about May uh, last year. So I've had it for a while. Uh, and I'm gonna go as far, I won't ruin the review, but if you want a twin fin for average and small waves, this might possibly be the best board I've come across for that. It's phenomenal, but I won't ruin the review because that's coming. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about that when it is uh, due time. Something else I've been surfing quite a lot of, uh, probably one of my most pressure dented boards <laughs> due to surfing uh, is the Chan, I mean the Chili Midi. So I think 2021, we checked out the mid strength. Um, lots and lots, I reckon it's probably our most popular review by way of maybe not views, but comments and people who have come to me asking about the board in detail and people have come back to me letting me know they bought the board because of the review. Uh, I could not fault the mid strength. Um, at 610 or whatever, when it was one foot, I paddle onto little runners and stuff and I could surf it. If I got a section, I could do a turn like a shortboard. And when it was a little bit bigger, it kind of acted like a little bit of a step up because it still had a nice little lift through the nose. Midi, a lot of the same characteristics at 6'4 and 37 and a little bit liters. Um, been really fun, different. Like it doesn't have that length and that, that rail line that the mid strength has, but heaps and heaps of fun. Uh, again, been riding it as a quad. Uh, I was lucky enough FCS just before Oh, late last year gave us a few different sets of fins and this is the new Matt Biolis Mayhem quads and they felt pretty good. Surprisingly, I don't normally go a whole large quad set. Uh, I find it a bit big, but this has felt really good. Not too sticky, can turn, still fairly loose and lots of fun. So that's another review you'll probably see pretty soon. Um, I just got to get the clips together. Geez, I really hope these don't fall over. Uh, where to next? Uh, this is by Panda, uh, so Blake uh, is Panda Surfboards and he's in, um, uh, in in the US. I just spoke to him this morning, actually, I can't remember, <laughs> just down from, um, from San Clemente. But anyway, uh, this is the Shiitake uh, Twins uh, performance. So you would have seen, probably about two years ago, we did a Shiitake Twins review and it was about a 6.9 and that thing was an absolute dream. Similar to the chilly mid strength that I spoke about, another longer board that excelled when it was small and you wanted volume and length to get into waves, but when it was a bit bigger or quite big, phenomenal. I, I could not fault that board, it was phenomenal. He started, um, I had a really good chat this morning, he's in Australia at the moment, he's doing some custom orders, he did like a shaping tour of Australia, uh, and I had a chat to him this morning, and this is the performance twins that he's been doing. And this one's a 6.1 at 34 litres. Uh, we're having a chat about it. He's been doing a few. He's got a whole bunch of orders while he's in Australia and the majority were for the Performance Twinser. Uh, so I've had this for, again, quite a while, probably since like April, May last year. Um, and at 6.1, 34 litres, it's kind of been not quite a step up. When waves have a little bit more push, say it's like four foot, um, 
it's something I've been grabbing and it's a whole lot of fun. Um, was able to surf it on some point breaks up in Queensland last year on a trip, longer waves, loves. Not, it doesn't have to be pumping and that, but it does like longer waves. We can get kind of a bit of open face, multiple turns. So it's just been hard to film because in Sydney, Australia, we get a lot of short waves uh, and the board's fun and I'll still surf it. But if you watch the footage of me just bottom turning and doing a Rio, you don't get a whole lot out of that. So trying to get some footage together actually shows me, you know, going down the line, doing a couple of turns, you know, my best D grade surfing. But anyway, that is the uh, performance. Uh, I think he calls it still calls it Sharky, but a twins are. So twins are. Uh, it's a twin with the leading fin. I think it breaks water. I don't know. Phenomenal. I feel like it's got this huge sweet spot that it doesn't matter where your foot is. You can always kind of turn, but won't ruin the review. That's still to come. Um, and I really don't want to knock one of these boards over. Um, this is the Channel Islands twin pin. Uh, you're probably thinking, why have you got a twin pin? You did a review on a twin pin about two years ago. A few reasons. When I did the twin pin review, I checked out two. I checked out a 5.11 and I checked out a 6.1. And the 5.11 kind of felt like it had this performance kind of feel to it, but might've been like a little bit small. It didn't feel like it quite had the volume it said in it. And the 6.1 felt like it just wanted to cruise, but the 6.1 had a tint in it and it was quite heavy. Um, so I got another 6.1 just clear, a little bit lighter, more like kind of like a shortboard feel. And I've been surfing this as kind of like a semi step up. Um, so I wanted to check this out again because I still get lots of questions about it and it is such a sick board. And the other thing was late last year, FCS brought out a new Brit Merrick twin, uh, which you can see here, which aesthetically is a very pleasing, pleasing fin on the eye. Uh, so had a chat to the guys at FCI S and they were keen for us to check it out. Really nice looking fin, epic board. And I was pretty frothing to check it out again. Um, it's actually something I had a happy traveler in my quiver. It was a 6.4 that was kind of my step up and I actually got rid of it. And this is now my step up. So it's funny how twins are becoming a common part of a, uh, a, a um, quiver. So that's my kind of step up thing. So we'll check that out in the coming months. Um, and yeah, it's been a whole lot of fun and those fins look pretty um, damn good. Um, summer in Australia right now and a little bit of fun. Soft Tech have brought out a Philippe Toledo soft tech board so it's a uh, epoxy i think you hopefully you can hear that wrapped in a soft exterior fcs2 thruster uh five six yep 33 and a half liters whole bunch of fun been smashing some shories in it pushing the kids into waves on it um been having a lot of fun and hopefully we get an epic little shory where i can film some clips and put this review together um FCS and Softech, thanks for sending this out for review. Uh, I'm a big fan of softboards, so much fun. Shoreys and stuff like that. Um, hanging at the beach, you know, not wanting to leave your fiberglass board in the sun all day. Things epic and it's been a whole lot of fun. So I'm pretty frothing to check that one out um, in a bit more detail. Again, by Channel Islands, um, had this a while, it's a free scrubber. The uh, Tom Curran kind of twin. Wasn't sure about it at first, uh, but I was chatting to Devin Howard and the guys at Channel Islands about the board and um, yeah, I'm pretty frothing. The tail and this back end, I wasn't sure about as a pure twin. Looking at it and the old original CI twin they did about five years ago, I felt like it needed a stabilizer, but I've been surfing this uh, Son of Cobra twins, T1s and a few others and shocked how it surfs, but I don't want to ruin the view, but been a lot of fun doesn't need great waves but definitely does like probably bigger better waves uh, very similar in how it surfs and the waves that it likes to the album twinsman uh, different board different deck different rails really different setup it's a lot of similarities twin fin um, but yeah the twinsman liked i think better waves uh, so did like the christensen lane splitter and i think it sits there like you would have seen the clips of tom curran he put out that clip with rip curl he's in mexico uh, and he's surfing those points and it's kind of pumping and oh, it's kind of fun and yeah that ball goes well so it kind of wants waves to bit of push bit of offshore bit of air up the face um bit of steepness that's been a lot of fun and that's another review we'll check out in the coming um months uh over here oh i'm gonna pull this out and i hope i don't knock anything over um by we checked out a few boards by manor uh so manor is dan mcmanus He's from the north, mid, central coast of New South Wales, and he's one of the friendliest guys I know. Uh, always love having a chat with him. And 
Luckily enough, he makes some freaking epic boards. So this is the Ventura Mid that he does. Kind of, oh, it's kind of, not a kind of, it's a mid-length-ish type thing, um, but really got a performance feel. He's dropped the rails away quite a bit. Um, this is 6.8, 40 litres. I felt like it didn't have the 40 litres it said it does. He promises me it does. It's kind of hidden, but he has dropped that rail away for a bit more performance feel. And he's hooked us up with these fins that he's had made. They've got a bit of a Greg Weber type feel to them. Very long, very narrow through the tip, very raked out. Um, Dan told me that riding this ball with these fins will feel like snowboarding. Um, so far, not so much like snowboarding, but yeah, they definitely work with this board. And my first, um, my first surfs were with a couple of different sets by Futures. Last surf or two have been with this and yeah, felt, felt pretty good. Uh, and keen to get this review out. I've been enjoying this, a lot of paddle power and still a lot of kind of performance sort of shortboard-esque feel to um, how it surfs. So that's a review I'm pretty keen to uh, get out to everyone. I've had a few questions about it. And Dan says, oh, I'm really worried this is gonna fall over. Dan says it's been really popular um, in his orders over summer. Um, I'm gonna go next to the, we checked out about 18 months ago, a shortboard, I think the Toe by Campbell Designed. Um, so from Noosa uh, in Northern or Queensland um, and chatting to them, I wanted to say it was probably, I really like the Exoflex construction. I never, I just shouldn't say I've been, haven't been huge on epoxy constructions. I definitely like different epoxy constructions. They feel lighter, a um, lot of similarities. Exoflex feels really, really different. I don't know what it is, um, why, but they're saying it's a leaf spring, is like a suspension system, system like a leaf spring. So if people see on like trucks and big four wheel drives, they have those leaf springs in the rear end. Supposedly that's how it's set up. Sorry, um, Stu, if I've got it wrong, but I think that's what they said, but it feels really good. This is a model they do called the Sacrificial. Um, it's 5.5, 33.3 liters. And I would go as far to say as this is the best small wave board I've ever ridden. Um, we've had some pretty small and average waves and I haven't been surfing well generally being out of the water with a bit of an injury but getting on this has made me feel like i'm surfing well uh and getting really fast across some pretty flat and crappy sections it's kind of weird it's got this really like classic fish kind of front end like a flat almost scooped out deck and front end like a, a fish feel but then very performance through the back end comes with a five fin setup i've been riding quads and then i just got these new Rasta Twins, um, Futures have done the Rasta Twins for a long time, but the previous construction, you would have known they were like a purple color. Um, they were having some issues with them, so they've changed them in new construction. Got a bit of a foil inside the fin, super fast, super lively, uh, lots of fun. And yeah, that actually paired with, just next to it, the Album Plasmic. Might be the best two wave, small, two board, small wave combo. If you want a more performance short body sort of feel thing and a twin fin can't fault it phenomenal phenomenal um just got this just before christmas from the guys at surf tech uh iper uh this is the dark twin so i think it's by dark, uh, duke iper uh brother of akila iper i believe hope i haven't got that wrong um and they're the two sons of the the legendary ben iper um who shaped boards for a whole bunch of people in hawaii uh, in the, I think the 70s and 80s and whatnot, and he was famous for the Sting, which has a drop row rail, which hopefully we can check out something in the future. But this is the Dark Twin, 510, 33.1 liters. Uh, and this is, what do they call this construction? Dual core, it's EPS and PU. This is the lightest board I think I've ever owned. It is so light, it feels really light. Uh, just before Christmas, I have a couple surfs on it. We're up the coast and feels good. Feels really lively. Um, really enjoyed it. I was riding, I think, the MR2 plus one. Just really good FCS twin fin setup that I know of a stabilizer. No surprises. And um, I really enjoyed that. So that was a lot of fun. Um, uh, um, oh, here. This thing over here. Oh, sorry, it's one of my kids' toys. Um, this is the Flying Seal, I believe it's called. Critters Toyco. Uh, so Critters Toyco, you may or not know, uh, I think from Los Angeles, we checked out um, one of the reviews late last year, a twin kind of fish keel thing. I think it was phenomenal, a lot of fun. Um, they're available in Australia now. 
Uh, they're doing them out of Rhino, laminating in Brookvale. Awesome boards, great quality. I really like their kind of brand and their aesthetic. A little bit different to the market. Um, doing stuff really cool. Uh, lots of channels. They seem to like channels in things. I like channels too, so that's really cool. Um, and this was a whole lot of fun. My actually first surf on this, I put a quad setup in it and I couldn't turn the board. <laughs> and then I put the T1s by Futures, so twin with a small trailer, and it was phenomenal. Um, we were up in the mid-north coast, middle of last year. Uh, really fun waves on kind of like a point break there. And this thing was epic. Really flat rocker, lots of volume through the belly, paddled really well, really fast across sections. And then the channels just gave it this nice drive, but then the two with a stabilizer, didn't tighten it up too much. Like I said, with that quad and the channels, I could not turn the board. Um, so put that fin set up in and the thing went really, really well. Uh, and frothing to get some footage on that and check it out in a little bit more detail. And last but not least is the Christensen uh, OP1, which I just dropped. So got a nice little ding on the nose. Uh, it's brand new, never ridden it. And it now has a shattered nose, which I'll, I'll try and fix before I surf it. But anyway, trying to save these boards from falling, I dropped this one, but anyway, all good. Uh, the five, the OP1 is kind of Christensen's, um, he's got a new range, I think it's OP1, two, three. I hope I haven't got that wrong, but it's his kind of shortboard range. The OP1 is kind of the, the lower end of that range, I believe, kind of like, think like Channel Islands Dumpster Diver, you know, shorter, more forgiving. Um, this is 510, 33 liters, um, fairly flat rocker, pretty straight through the tail, wide tail, holds a lot of volume, very straight outline, comes in quite nicely here, um, and I'm pretty psyched to surf this. I haven't really been surfing, actually I got this just before Christmas and I had a friend over, we're watching, a few friends watching uh, Stab have a really good series, How Surfers Get Paid, um, we're watching that and he was having a laugh that I didn't actually own a thruster or a shortboard. Um, I had these boards and a few others as well. I got this a couple of days later, which is kind of a shortboard. Uh, so he was having a bit of a laugh, but yeah, I haven't really been surfing shortboards with a shitty knee. Um, been surfing kind of cruisier stuff, not pushing myself too much, but yeah, kind of keen to get this in the water. I think this would be a really, really performance, really high performance board. Christensen is a magnificent shaper. He's one of my favorite shapers, legend guy, really knows what he's doing. But I also feel it won't be too, um, you know, out of reach for the average surfer. Good amount of volume, it's in all the right places. I think it's gonna be easy to surf. Um, I just went to Futures and got a few different sets of new thruster fins. Um, Jack Freestones, John Johns, AMs. I grabbed a few different things that I haven't had for a while uh, to check out in this. So I'm pretty keen for this review. So this will be probably at the tail end of these ones, but I will get this in the water soon, put some comments up. So I hope people found this helpful because um, I know I've had lots of comments and questions. People might be get, getting over uh, waiting to see reviews, but yeah, this is everything that we're looking at over the kind of coming months. Got a few more things coming in from um, a few different shapers. Uh, and I'm also heading to the US in March and I'm picking up some different stuff from some different shapers, which I'm pretty psyched about, uh, including the one in my hand here, um, and some different constructions. So hopefully coming home with a coffin uh, full of some new boards. But anyway, that's what we've got coming out over the coming months. If you have any questions about any boards, you know, if you're hanging on making a decision about a purchase or something, please don't wait, uh, comment below. I'll try and get back to everything. Uh, DM us, hit us up on Instagram at the surfboard guide. But I hope you found this helpful and looking forward to getting these reviews out. Thanks so much for watching.